The Venice Film Festival introduces a production jointly directed by Israeli and Iranian filmmakers. The film named Tatami was filmed secretly in Georgia with the filmmakers taking extraordinary measures to thwart potential interference from the Iranian regime. For the shoot, we were concerned. Uh, we knew we need to just make it uh, not in a secret way, but low profile. We were shooting in Tbilisi, two hours from Tel Aviv, uh, two hours from Tehran. Iranians, they don't need visa to go to Georgia. And uh, I knew there are many Iranians there, so we were just uh, trying to keep it calm, secret. The Venice Film Festival played host to Tatami, a film centered around an Iranian judoka who goes against the government, which bans from competing with Israeli athletes on the global stage. The movie is a unique collaboration filmed secretly between Iranian actress Zar Amir, the artist who also plays the judoka's trainer in the film, and Israeli filmmaker Guy Nativ, known for his recent biographical portrayal of former Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir in Golda. Um, we were speaking English with each other in hotels. Uh, we were undercover um, and we knew that it's kind of a dangerous thing to, to expose ourselves. Nativ acknowledges the risk they undertook. The story unfolds during a single day of intense judo competition featuring an Iranian champion portrayed by U.S. actress Ariane Mandy, who is faking an injury to evade a potential showdown with an Israeli competitor. It is all shot in black and white, and Guy Nativ has an interesting reason behind it. These women are living in a black and white world. There's no colors, and the, the box is the box, the, the claustrophobic world they live in. And, you know, that's the, that's the, 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 that's the, the, the one thing they want to break, they want their freedom. The storyline was inspired by real-life events when four years ago, Iranian judoka Said Mulai was coerced into losing matches to avoid confronting Israeli judo champion Sagi Muki at the 2019 World Championships in Tokyo. Molai's open defiance of his government led to his flight to Europe and subsequent refugee status in Germany. Astonishingly, Molai and Muki, who had become close friends, finally squared off as opponents last year at the Budapest Grand Slam, with Molai competing for Azerbaijan. Truly inspiring.